All right, where are we going, Tyson? We are going downtown Huntington Beach right now to nice. talk about the fentanyl epidemic. Yes, yeah, ask people questions, see what they think, see if they've been affected by it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how many people have been affected by that. All right, let's roll. Make people aware of the numbers of people that are dying in this country on a daily basis, and also if they can, you know, we can lend any support to anybody that's out here that just got a lost a family member. We just want to show them some support for them. That's right. 300 people a day are dying from fentanyl. It needs to be a change. Let's start talking about this. Let's break the stigma. Let's have a conversation. Did you know that 300 people a day are dying from a fentanyl overdose? I do know that, yes. And about 100,000 to 110,000, you know, a year yeah. for the last couple of years. Yeah. And do you agree that we need to be talking about this, bringing awareness and creating change? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm 100% for that. Yeah. You know, it's destroying America and uh, we need to get back on track. Have you uh, been affected in any way in your life by this? By some deadly stories from friends, yes. When you look at, like the town, absolutely. You know, a lot of people in Huntington Beach have been affected. Yeah. That's my pops. He taught me how to surf. He taught me all the values of life. And because I got clean and sober, I get to watch him grow old while I grow old. So 300 people a day are dying from fentanyl. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Fuck fentanyl. Yeah, fentanyl's bad, man. And uh, we definitely don't support that. Yeah. I think it's uh, mainly more sad that it's a lot of kids, a lot of teenagers that don't know what they're doing. So I did, like, I'm not gonna lie, I just learned about fentanyl. I know this is sad, I'm 32 years old. I just learned about fentanyl, like, probably six months ago. And, like, I right away, like, educated my daughters, because they're in the experimenting world. You know, we can't protect them from everything once they, leave, once they leave that front door like we, we don't know so i just told him i said your friend might tell you that it's weed and it's not and then you're gonna you're not gonna wake up and then you're gonna die and you know and you know you, you don't even know what you did how did you learn about it six months ago um on tiktok i saw somebody post a video that their child had died and then i looked in the comments and i saw that a lot of other parents also went through the same thing and what do you think needs to happen to create change parents need to educate their children more and give them a better positivity, whether it's whether like God or activities and keep them busy. I feel like the world is so ugly right now that a lot of parents don't pay attention to their kids and they just let them do whatever because they're so stressed out with their own life and you know, and they, they, just, really dump, they yeah. just dump them off into the world and the kids gotta figure it out for themselves. And the kids think that they're smoking weed or to relieve their own form of stress and it's something else. Raise your kids before the streets raise them. Okay. Fuck okay. fentanyl. Do 
you know how many people die a day from a fentanyl overdose? 300. You know the number. What do you think about that number? I think it's disgusting that we just went through a national pandemic uh, where we shut down the country and people are dying from fentanyl who are young and they have their entire lives ahead of them and nothing's happening. Fuck fentanyl. So, uh, what do you? What is it that you know about fentanyl? Well, I'm actually six months sober myself. Congratulations, brother. That's awesome. Thank you. My DOCs were alcohol and cocaine, but I know a lot of uh, my buddies who have struggled from fentanyl and uh, just the devastation that it's had on a lot of communities. I have a couple friends that passed away from fentanyl use. Um, yeah, and I just know that it's just a hell of a drug, man. I just think that in order to able to get taken care of is just support. I'd say support by you know as many people as possible. Um, the addiction and the addict community and the sober community gets a lot of there's a lot of stigmatism behind it. You know, be willing to have conversations and open their mind to it. So if people could just start opening their mind, that'd be great. Fuck fentanyl. Have you been afflicted by it or affected by it in one way or another? I hear about it. Yeah, I do hear about it. And what do you think needs to happen to create change? More education, more stricter laws on it. Yeah. The ability to not get a hold of it. Did you know that it's even in weed? Yes, I did hear that. Yeah. And people just take whatever they want and not knowing what's in it, so that's bad too. Yeah. You see that flag up there, the red, white, and blue one? That's the United States of America, and it's under attack right now by a drug called fentanyl. Fuck fentanyl.